Well, as I said in another video, I got two new vans. Just get back here so I can show it to you. There's two of them. Um, kind of funny how that worked out. Don't mind my renovation mess here. Um, the uh, they're both uh, Ford Aerostars. They are uh, a 96 and a 94. The shorter one there back there is 94. This is uh, a four-wheel drive one, and uh, it has a, a four-liter V6 in it. Um, it doesn't seem to be too bad on mileage. Uh, it's better than the old van I had. It was a full size. It also had a six-cylinder, and um, it rides really nice. It's uh, it's nice to have the air conditioning for the family and all. And uh, just you know, it was mint condition. Almost it was only 140,000 kilometers, and what's that miles? I don't know, 80,000 miles, I guess. I don't know. But uh, this one's kind of got all the uh, luxury stuff I've never even used before. I still don't even know how to use the cruise control. Never owned it, but uh, power windows and uh, the air conditioning and yeah, the radio works. <laughs> Unlike the rest of my old vehicles. And uh, the uh, they came, of course, both certified and uh, and uh, undercoated. They put uh, brand new undercoating on it. Just try and hoping you can see some of that nice black undercoating on both of them. This one, of course, I use for the family. It's the extended one with the extra cargo room in it and uh, got some roof racks on the top that I can use if I ever need to and this one here this is the 94 it's a little older and it's got a little more miles on it it's got 200,000 kilometers um, again I don't know what is that 120,000 miles I don't know but anyways I don't have my calculator with me but uh, this one has a 3 liter V6 it's just two wheel drive and the whole purpose of me buying two of them actually was that um, I got a deal because I took both of them from the same dealer and uh, also because of my new trade being a sales representative I needed something reliable and reasonable to uh, show properties in and whatever so this I thought would be perfect for that and this will be more or less for my business and then if we do have to have any work done on the other one um, you know, we we do have this one that we can use if we need to for emergency reasons or whatever. The family will fit in it. They um, both seat uh, seven or eight, depending on the seat arrangement. This one, uh, the air seat, air conditioner doesn't work, but I could have it fixed. I personally don't really care. I like I like the uh, free air conditioning. You just roll down the window myself. But uh, it's got just the roll down windows. This one's not quite as um, what do you call the high class package or whatever. But um, you know, it doesn't have your cruise control or tilt steering, whatever. But they're both uh, in fantastic shape as far as uh, how they were kept and everything. And um, other than the AC, on this one, like, everything works. Everything is functional on it. And uh, it was kind of funny. My, uh, the first day I had this, when I put the key in and I opened the door, of course, it made a nice bunging sound or bung or whatever you want to call it. And the kids all got quiet. And they're like, what's that? What's that? And, uh, <laughs> you know, the older vehicles, of course, they never had any of that stuff. But uh, my friend was teasing me. He says, that's called the 90s. <laughs> of course, everything I've ever owned was always in the 80s or 70s even. But uh, anyways, I guess I could show you my old vehicle. As I showed before, this is my old Ferguson tractor, my Redneck Ranger, which I was in the process of restoring the more of the earlier of the uh, small North American vehicles. It's, you know, it's rough looking right now. And then this is my, uh, it's on the road right now. I still use this. This is a 89 Dodge Dakota with a uh, 4x4 and it's standard. And this is just primarily for my, my work reasons. For farming or whatever I got to do with it. As you can see, I'm getting my firewood still. Got a good load today. Actually, the interior wasn't too bad on this one. This one's got high miles on it. It's got almost 400,000 kilometers, and uh, I've had a fair amount of work done to it when I had to get it safety. Family vehicle. I've still got it. I'm kind of keeping it around right now as a cargo work van. Slash. This is the uh, the '89 Dodge. This is the one that the wife ditched. I mean, sorry, just kidding. <laughs> the one that you ditched. <laughs> no, I did it. That's just a video I made back in the winter time. I'll put a link in the sidebar for it. We ditched it in the winter. It was kind of fun. Put it through the fence. Anyways, it's got an oil leak. And when you shut it off, it was uh, 
dripping down onto the exhaust and started to smoke and uh, that kind of freaked my wife out one day and I kind of got thinking that wasn't a good thing either so that's just the same day actually we bumped into them two other vans so there was kind of I guess you could almost say like a godsend but this is you know it's kind of getting you know, the doors won't work in the winter sign sometimes they won't shut up properly and and these rear brakes but uh, uh, you know I did rebuild the transmission in it and the motor is actually quite good other than that engine leak which I think all it is is just a gasket on the uh, valve cover I think those engines might be bad for that because this Dodge here that I bought apparently it had the same thing done to it and uh, you can still get adequate parts for these um, the suspension I had redone on it the front end I've had work done on it too with new brand new brakes on the front end and ball joints like a year ago all it needed was some uh, calipers or whatever on the back brakes and back brake work done on it and uh, it'll make a good cargo van if I need one anyways